I'm Dave McMahon, Commander of the Texas International Guard. Today I want to share with you an historical perspective on Guardsmen. It starts with the Minuteman, an iconic symbol of the National Guard. Picture a young man holding a musket with a plow and share behind him, who is aptly named for his ability to be ready at a moment's notice. When the Minuteman was called to arms for his territory or his state, he would drop his plow and share and pick up his musket. When our forefathers settled this country, there are many threats, attacking tribes, thieves, marauders. Because of this constant threat, nearly 400 years ago, the colonies and territories formed militias, groups of local farmers, shopkeepers, who were prepared to defend their home against any aggressor. Led by military veterans with prior service in Europe, these men would muster to drill and practice marksmanship. In time, governors appointed adjutants general to organize these troops to defend their territory. In 1775, at the battles of Lexington and Concord, it was these Minutemen that defended their home against the attacking British Army and continued to fight and defend their homeland throughout the Revolutionary War, winning their independence and creating our nation. You are their legacy. You are the Minuteman now. Farmers, teachers, police officers, professionals, all airmen or soldiers in the National Guard. When our founders wrote the Constitution and developed the laws that govern our nation, they decided that they did not want a large standing army like the armies controlled by kings in Europe. But instead, they wanted the militia construct, militias that would belong to the people of each territory or state and be under the control of that state. In this manner, the federal government could never impose its will on the people as they did in Europe. And our government is here to serve us, not the other way around. This is our legacy. So you are here for a purpose. Our founders envisioned you, not a large standing active duty army, or later, a large standing active duty air force. They wanted you to defend the state and nation, to be ready in a minute, to leave your fields, your jobs, and pick up your musket in defense of your homeland. That's our history, but that's also our future. Always ready, always there, Texans serving Texas. Thank you for what you do, and thank you for being part of the Texas military. Duty, honor, Texas.